I'm gonna go in this direction now. I am going in this direction to the storage room. Happily running about. Do to do. Doodle do. Ba do do do. Still, yeah, I'm gonna use a barrel as a weapon. That is exactly what I'm gonna do. <sighs> that was fun. One of these videos is gonna be called Dog Days, and I'm not even embarrassed about it at all. God, pickaxe. All the weaponry at the same time. Pretty sure there was not any gunpowder down there, though. So I am getting to the point where I'm tempted to just go back to my videos and see where I found gunpowder at any point in time. If I found gunpowder at any point in time. Or if someone commented about gunpowder at any point in time. Because then... I can just look at that. Duh. There's not anything underneath the drawers. I can safely say that there is not. Oh yeah, that thing. Oh, Tang, what are you doing here? Why do you choose to haunt my existence with your squishy beingness? Probably still a wet tongue as well. Because video games. Um. Oh, this was very unhelpful. But. I did deduce that they're most... Oh, wait. I can maybe... No. Pickaxe does not serve to break walls, I guess. Um, maybe it really is just a weapon or something. I'm 99% certain there wasn't any gunpowdery gunpowderness in this area. I'm I'm sure. There's nothing here. I'm just gonna leave. This is silly. I am not supposed to be here anymore. I'm done in this location. Stop grabbing the meat. I think I'm just gonna put... Screw it. Uh, hang on. Can't go to my inventory while climbing a ladder, apparently. Now you know. Three. <laughs> that is your number now. You are supposed to be three. Now watch me press two every time I want to get the pickaxe out. Uh... Right. Gunpowder. It probably is actually just on the other side. Somewhere. Maybe in the middle of that dog place. But whatever. I will find it everywhere else. That is where I'm going to find the gunpowder. I'm pretty sure this place is locked, isn't it? Yeah, okay. It is trapped. So that's... At least that excludes that area. So, now we only have this part left. Uh. Oh, that dog is over there. That is something I did not expect to happen. Why is he over here now? That's really quite annoying, actually. Whatever. I'll just go in the other direction, I guess. <sighs> God, this dog is in it to kill me. It is not a happy dog. That was a short loading screen. I thought I'm going to scratch my face during this loading screen, but no. What's that? His typewriter dates back. Wow, oh, nice. Typewriters. I moved that typewriter. I can't... Okay. I can't move this chair by sitting on top of it, but I can move it with my hands. I... I'm getting the strong impression that the gunpowder that I'm looking for is, in fact, on the other side, isn't it? Uh, why? <laughs> why does it have to be like this game? Why do you have to go in these directions every time? Is this a dog over here again now? Yeah, he is. Okay. Don't look at me, dog. Don't do these dog-like things you do. Even though you do them oh so well. Please don't go in this direction. That'd be nice. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. 
Well, it should just be a second dog or something. That would be so dumb. Oh my god, there's no gunpowder anywhere in this middle bit, I think. Unless I'm just really blind, but I don't think I am. I don't see any, at least, but then again, I didn't see that note either until I was really close to it, so... Who knows? Hmm. I'm just gonna pay really close attention to everything. Like you. Can't examine you. You are nothing to me. Nothing. Maybe it really is just in that other room. Along with the, um... Whatchamacallit. The wire, I guess. I wonder if you could get here without ever getting that uh, back screen or whatever it was called. Or if you could somehow get here and not get that and then be stuck and not be able to get it anymore. Probably not. Like, you wouldn't probably not be able to get this game in an unwinnable state, could you? <laughs> because that would be bad. Uh, let's see, that was where I got the wire from, or the cotton. What is it called, actually? It's called a cotton string. A cotton string is what I found. This pickaxe got to be good for something. I don't know what, but, you know. They kind of just put a pickaxe here and then do nothing with it. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything underneath these rocks, but I can't really move them past these wooden boards. Nor can I break the wooden boards, because they're made of indestructible wood. But it doesn't look like there's... Anything here other than the pickaxe. So, uh, this thing, you exist. If it doesn't look like I can do anything with that. Glow uh, stick will help me see the gunpowder that is clearly hidden away. Just gonna quickly check if I don't. Oh, notebook, hey. Need to remove the rubble first, yes. Thanks. Those books, that probably not gonna help anything. My favorite bookshop. Hmm. 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 Where should I go? Where, oh, where should I go? Not a secret area. Maybe this barrel. Nope. No gunpowder in the barrel. Maybe this wooden box? There's one of those indestructible ones. Yeah, it is, I think. Get over there. Get over there. Oh, actually, um, do get over there. I am thinking. I'm using my mind to... That's a shadow. Okay, I'm using my mind to uh, solve the puzzle and not think that shadow was a hole. Uh, okay. I just kind of move that over here. Rip. Ow! Still ow! Oh my god. I'm not good at this jumping thing. Uh, there were my last painkillers. Uh, okay. That worked. Also, notice that I was pressing the number 2 button twice before I picked up my pickaxe by pressing 3. I'm not going to move that just yet. I'm just going to move about with this barrel. Explosives. Great. That's more like it. Yeah. Nice. You're helpful. The door looks very weak and old. Okay. Door. Oh, boy. This is going to be interesting. I'm just going to put you back in here again. I'm going to have to get out my pickaxe for you. Really? Oh, this thing has a lot more force to it, doesn't it? Wow, that door flew to the other side of the room. But it died. I sure killed that door. God, I don't want to go in here at all. Uh... Another one of those beetle walls. Very strange. 
probably just seeing things at this point, but whatever. Indestructive barrel? No. Hey! There was finally some point to my destruction. Nice. Okay. Finally, I'm not entirely useless. Oh, dynamite. Okay. Sure. Can I take these with me? Die, beast! That was disappointing. Painkillers. Die, you filthy monster! Right, okay, uh, gunpowder. I was... Da -da -da -da, stick to the thing. With any luck, one fuse. Great. Unbelievably, this is the first fuse I ever made. Wow. And here I thought you were Ma Grant Master Philip, the fuse master. Ugh. What can I use this dynamite for? I guess needs must. Yeah, I guess sometimes you just gotta blow something up. Can't go through life without ever setting off a small explosion. So saith everyone. You are now a door. Good luck with your new life. Right, I guess I'm gonna have to. There's gonna be spiders now, aren't there? Hello. Hello. Goodbye! I'm leaving now. <clears throat> That's how I calmly walk back to where I used to be. Whew. How long did I spend searching for those bloody barrels with gunpowder in it? Oh my god. That was ridiculous. That dog is moving. The dog is moving in ways I don't like to see it move. It was looking at me menacingly with those evil eyes. Trying to scare me. But I am ready for you, dog. I have a pickaxe. And I'm gonna blow up some rubble. And you'll not notice it at all because I'm being super stealthy. Besides, I have a pickaxe. What could go wrong? Like, right? Tends to try out my new dynamite, though. Kind of curious how that will work. Right. Uh, fuse. There. <laughs> this is gonna kill me, isn't it? I already know that. Okay. I'm gonna sit over here. And see if the dog's gonna go after the explosion. Because it's not really the most subtle thing I've ever done. Is this a deaf dog, maybe? That would help. Deaf dog? Oh, no. I see it. But is it gonna go for it, I wonder? It is. Yep. It is going for the explosion. It is going for the explosion. If I stab it in the back, will it see me? Snake. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Hold holy. <laughs> when I look back, I can't think of what spurred me to go deeper into the mine. Perhaps it was arrogance at still being alive, or something as ridiculous as facing adversity and coming out on top. Now, I know I would have been better off starving or being mauled to death. No, I wouldn't. Than kick-starting the chain of events that led me to end up here, writing to you. I just hope once you understand my story, you will have what's necessary to put an end to this tale. I certainly didn't. Wow, that actually worked. I am the sneakiest man of all dog training world. I don't know why I didn't attack it immediately when I saw it. I was like, I'm gonna kill this dog. But like, no. That thing was like, I'm just gonna walk past you. You me. We have had times, man. We've had time, but I'm willing to put aside our differences. I'm just gonna let you live. I'm a dog. Zombie Fido. Out to save the world from sadness. That is what's going on here. Door. This is a heavy door. 
nothing inside these things, though. That's kind of sad. I feel saddened by this. Do, 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 do. Open all the... Open... Door. Please. Look at where my hand is. It's, like, so far away from my body. How long is this guy's arm? Oh, my God. Uh, what is this? What? Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, I'm just gonna go forward, I guess. I'm just gonna go forward, I guess. With this box. My stealth box. This is how Metal Gear Solid used to be. Rather than being in a box, he just... Pushed a box in front of him that made so much noise that everyone could hear him. What? I could look at something. Probably some sort of protection from loose rocks. Yeah. Yeah. Let's hope the rocks don't go loose in the middle. Or there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, there is one loose rock there, I guess. So, there you go. Oh. The noise down here is so alien composed the way it sounds rather than the surface. That rock almost sounded organic, like the rock screaming. It probably was a monster, don't worry. Down, 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 Colonel, I'm gonna open this door now. I hope there's no Chris's monster beasts. I don't know what I would just said. That sentence made no sense at all. Colonel, I made it to the power room. Should I open these boxes? They may contain something useful. No, these boxes are indestructible, and there's some sort of blue liquid on the floor. Should I take some of it with my magical snake sponge? Or should I just throw this thing at that door? Huh, that thing is pretty durable, I guess. What is that? A propane <laughs> gas canister. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw with it. Yeah! Okay, what is this? Probably continue looking through the other room first, but there you go. <sighs> Loading. Okay. Colonel, I found another box. This one has a picture on it. Generator share parts. Spare parts. Batteries. Nice. From the look of the thing, I guess it's the control panel for that generator. I should turn it on with all the wheels. Yay! Then, okay, I should find a manual for this, I guess. It's cold and rusted. Rust might be the only thing that survived down here all this time. Same goes for all the other wheels. Nice. Ooh, I'll read that in a second. Flashlight. I'm using you because I have so many batteries at this point. How many batteries do I have? Like, oh my god. Oh. Ah. I guess when you pick up a battery... It doesn't go in your inventory, it goes in your flashlight immediately. So he's like, I'm just going to eat these other batteries and put the new ones in because my other batteries are useless to me now. Hmm. It feels as if I'm leaving my body for just a moment, but not just hoovering around. It's like a goat someplace. What are these things? Yeah, what are they? Why are they not doing anything? Manual. Steelbird Generator Type 7G. Congratulations on your purchase from the Type 7 product line. We are certain that you will be pleased with your new petrol-driven electrical backup system. Below are highlighted just a few of the added and improved features of the 7G model. Avoid personal wear and tear. The wind-up startup motor has been replaced with a battery-driven unit. Grease in the industrial workplace can be an accident-inducing insurance nightmare, so endure the new increased grease control system. Electrical insulation can be expensive to install and maintain, so the economical 7G basic model arrives without and much, much more. Quick start guide. Ensure the area surrounding the 7G is clear of equipment and personnel in case of overheat. I'm gonna die. Connect and confirm secondary flow by turning appropriate valve. Turn on cooling system to avoid overheating. I'm gonna die. Release excess steam until pressure is within safe limits. Begin grease flow, ensuring leakage is minimal. Turn main valve and confirm primary flow. Pull main operation lever. Check energy output. Your unit should now be fully functional. Okay, so like... 
That I don't really care about. Connect and confirm secondary flow of turning appropriate valve. Right. Turn on cooling system, release steam. So basically, I just need to pull things in the right order. Okay. But I wonder if I don't need to, like, turn it on first. So, oh. the starter motors on these old generators run on batteries like this one. That should be here. Um... Uh, Spare parts, spare parts, spare parts, spare, spare parts, spare parts. Okay. This is not gonna be it, is it? Oh. The walls of this hole aren't as uniform as the rest of the shaft, but why dig it out by hand? Because I have a pickaxe, that's why. I'm not gonna do nothing with this pickaxe except break open one door. This thing's huge. It must be about 3.5 megawatts, but it's pretty old. Certainly enough to light a few bulbs, though. I'm like, oh my god. I didn't know you could estimate how many watts something was based on size, but whatever. A lever. A list of man, am I so much? <laughs> I am. Blind experimentation never achieves anything. Nope. It didn't achieve anything. Right, maybe I should actually just try and find some batteries for this thing. I wonder what it protects them from. Well, it's a generator. Seems to be orange when you hit it. That's a bit weird, I guess. Hmm. Right. Can I climb down here? Can I climb down here? I think I'll be able to climb down here. I wonder how many accidents they have before they put this up. Well... Too late to find out now. Uh, climb. There we go. This is fun. This cannot go wrong in any way, shape, or form. Great. Nice. Stop this. Whoa, this is weird. Can you even do anything here? And then I got interrupted by someone, but, you know, that happens. Um, but yeah, I'm wondering what you can actually do here. I do actually need to leave in a second, so I think I'm just... I might actually just check this out the next time, because I am uh, running a little bit out of time. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'm now in a pit, and I heard voices just now, so that's going to be fun. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed it, and next time, I guess we'll be in this pit. Uh, yes. Bye, then. Bye-bye.